Fox, good YouTube, and Konami. It's said from time to time that Konami watches my YouTube, so I'm going to take this moment to make an open message to them that I hope they receive in time and take into consideration for the World Championships happening upcoming here this uh, month in August. And that is how they're going to hold their coverage of the event. Now, I want to take this time to say I appreciate how they've done their coverage up till now. I appreciate a lot of the moves they've made these past few years and improving the connection to the player base and what they've done. And I get a lot of people disagree with many things that they do. I disagree with very few because I try to backtrack the steps to where they got to that point and understand their decisions. So it's very rare that I outright disagree to the point that I want to make an open message, but here it is. I very much disagree with the disabling of the Twitch and YouTube chats, and I'm going to explain why it hurts the sense of community, gathering around your game, why it benefits you, and what I hope to see come out of it. Now, let me start off by saying this. I super appreciate how the coverage is done. You went out and got literally world-class players. Robert Boyajan and Michael Conaheim have both been world's competitors. They've also both won major events. YCSs, Shonen Jumps, whatever you want to call them, they both managed to take a win in the past. These are two very, very well-knowledged competitors who have had their time before and have decided to give up the ability to play directly in order to bring us better coverage of the game. I think it's very noble of them. I think it's awesome to see Robert end up working at Konami, a player actually going into that base of the game, and hopefully vast improvements come from it. And this year, it's it's been improved greatly. I think Battles of Legend is one of the ultimate sets that really shows they listen. They listen so closely. And that wasn't just a cash grab. Look at the secondary market prices and... The, the amount of not short printing cards, it was amazing. But this isn't the reason we're here. We're here for the stream chat. And this is my main problem with it. You are putting something out there for the community as a whole to watch. And you have to, even if you're ignoring your competitors, take them into consideration. Video games that are streaming on the same platform, even Magic the Gathering, streaming on the same platform, they allow people to talk in the venue. They're allowing people to gather around what they're watching and talk about what's directly in front of them. And at the NAWCQ, that's the North American World Championship Qualifiers, the YouTube chat was disabled the entire time, and then the Twitch chat was disabled partway through, when it was mentioned that it was still on. And the re there was nothing bad happening. There, there wasn't anything excessively bad. But the reason this is not a good thing is it hurts viewership directly. The ability to stay entertained from a card game, even with great commentary, there's going to be pauses, lulls, things that are more boring than other games, no matter how fascinating you find Yu-Gi-Oh! And the, the compensation to be able to go through that is to be able to chat with everybody else there the thousands of people watching there the people who are noticing the games perhaps thinking of what's going to happen next and every single competing entity typically allows people to talk and i think slow mode was a great compromise is the the chat was on slow mode before it went down ensuring people weren't just spamming and going nuts and saying crazy things and i don't know if it's a lack of moderation which i'll also get into on how you can solve that or just wanting to shut it down and not have people talk there and present it as a show but I think the correct answer is to let people talk directly where you have gathered them. If you, most people only have one screen on their computer. Most people will have to actually, you know, 
close the tab they're watching in in order to talk to other people about it. If you're wanting them to talk elsewhere, such as Discord, Facebook, etc., they, they typically have to pull up another app over what's happening directly to talk to people, and they're still scattered out. You're scattering your audience directly from where it's placed, and you're hurting your own viewership. You have to have noticed a drop in your overall viewership each event. And I think that one easy way to solve that and really spread Yu-Gi-Oh! and make it more popular, which benefits all of us, and make it more exciting, is to let that chat happen. With Worlds, there's going to be a lot of confusion, as this is the first video event that we're going to see, at, at least to my knowledge, I know uh, for, for a lot of Americans and Europeans, that we're going to have the new Master Rule 4, or whatever you call it, the... We're going to have the extra monster zone, and, and the pendulum zones in the back row, and all these changes, and I really think you need that chat to let people help each other explain it. No matter how often the commentators are going to explain it, people are going to mis like misinterpret what they're saying. And even with trolls in the comment section, even with people like being harsh on the new mechanic, which I actually personally enjoy a lot because I enjoy figuring out new things rather than just hanging on to old things. Nostalgia is good, kids, but it's not everything. I, I think that you really should have that chat open and trust in the community moving forward here. And I know that's rough. I, I've seen the worst sides and the best sides of this community, but uh, chats tend to be very, very well maintained uh, within communal standards of people actually trying to help each other. Now, for a moderation team, I personally know many, many people that are heavily involved in the game, that are present at many of your events that you could meet in person, that would be happy to moderate for free. But I know you're also a company that wants to give, so if you feel the need to give product to compensate, with, like you do with judges, that's fine as well. But it would be very, very cost effective, if costless, if you truly wanted it, for people to moderate your chat and make sure that things are right. And then people know what the moderators are saying is pretty much truth. And you, you have people such as myself, such as I'm sure Bowden, such as many, many high profile members of this community, I'm, I'm sure that would mess up their sleep schedule and actually make sure to be able to be there for that. And there's a long list. So no matter what, it would be filled in that would be willing to be there for that. Uh, second, I, I want to say for Worlds, it's a completely different story. There's going to be trash talk. I, I want to be in that chat going, USA, USA, and I want to see Germany, Germany, Australia. I, I, I want to see all that craziness. I want to see people repping their country. I want to see people backing the players. Uh, Billy, my roommate, is going to be in there, and I want to be able to cheer him on directly and... I, I can't do that if there's not a venue to do that in outside of Facebook. And then I'm spending time creating memes and off of the YouTube. And I want to be able to directly be there and directly talk with other people worldwide from this community for this event to be able to just present myself to them and talk back, meet new people and get into this game even more. I've been a part of this community 15 years, and you, Konami, you've made that possible. You've changed my life, and you've made this great game here that we all get to play and surround it with. Please make it a place that we can surround it with and talk to each other in. And that's all I really have to say. I, I don't have any other demands. Many things that other people ask for uh, commonly in the community... I can see where you come from to make those decisions, but on this one, I can't. I can even see it on YouTube. You're putting out a, a presentation of how something works, very clear cut, and I get people could have questions of it directly, and I get that people can mislead in that comment section, but with this, it's a live event. Live things are happening, and things that we want to talk about and enjoy the excitement of, and it's it's not just a still video. I actually understand you dis disabling comments on YouTube, but, but the Twitch chat and the YouTube chat is something entirely different altogether. And I really hope you understand this going into the World Championship and let everybody gather under your roof. Thank you for your consideration if you're actually here, Konami. 
Thank you everybody who's watched to this point. Uh, in the comment section down below, let them know how you feel about this specific issue. I'm not looking to hunt millions of different issues right now, but more so the one at hand that directly affects us all in a couple weeks, where we can watch the World Championship live streamed, and I'm hoping to be able to talk and root on my roommate while I do it. Thanks for watching.